Misfits, and welcome to the Misfit Adventurers Podcast, a TTRPG podcast where our group of friends sit around and play some of our favorite games set in our own homebrew settings. I am the Dungeon Master, Amanda, and I hope that you will join us and enjoy the stories we have to offer. Ready. I, I am I not, am. but I am. You are not, but you are. <laughs> okay. I, I, I pick up what you're fucking. Oh. Pick up what you're putting down. Hang on. Where's my. Smelling what she's stepping in. <clears throat> <clears throat> I've never heard that one. Me either. Oh, you what? haven't? You've never heard that down? before? Smelling what you're stepping in. Smell what I'm stepping in. Smell what you're stepping in. What that. I'm spitting. Asian Don't kid. I've what? heard that before. What about Don't spitting? Don't worry, Benji. They're the crazy ones. You're you're <sighs> correct, you're Benji. Getting what I'm spitting. Getting what I'm spitting. I actually like that. Heard that. What I'm putting down. I like getting. I've heard what I'm picking spitting. up what I'm putting down. Yeah, I say yeah. picking up what you're putting down all the time. The, 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 You've the never book heard smelling what you're stepping in. No, I've never heard that. No, and I'm I'm sad that I've heard it now. Is this the hip new lingo of the youths? No, this is no. like 10 years old. <laughs> At least. Sorry. Also, Joe, I need you to understand, your cap, for the longest time, I've been sitting here and being like, oh, he's wearing a Domino's hat. I was, like, I was I about realized, to say, did Domino's? you think it was Domino's? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not Domino's. Well, Domino's isn't even, it's like half its original logo these days, you know? I can't uh, flip it, but you see a pixel. it's Enron it's an backwards. Enron. Oh, no, it's flipped on mine. I see Enron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see. I see oh, correctly. It's a pixel. Why is mine backwards? It sounds like a personal problem. I don't know. What? <laughs> what? Is it uh, are you dyslexic? No, I can fucking <laughs> read. <laughs> <laughs> what up? My name is. No, I've never fucking learned to read. read. What's up? <laughs> uh, they literally can't. That's the point. <laughs> Well, okay. You say okay. that. A little decisive. So, last week... <laughs> uh, last week you guys faced off against Father McKinsey. Um, it was quite the battle. Um, yeah, uh, he was doing some weird ritual thing in the sanctuary. There were a bunch of people inside these magical circles and it seemed to be giving him power or something. He seemed to still be under the impression that uh, Isla had the power of the earring within her um, based off of what he was saying. Um, but you guys fought him and I mean, you came prepared. You healed up right before going in. You brought back up with you. Um, you were able to get in the sanctuary without being detected and get off a surprise attack. And you know, he, he did his best to weasel his way out of y'all's grasp and kept, you know, teleporting around the map and stuff. But ultimately you guys just wore him down. Uh, and, and ultimately, Orellana delivered the killing blow, and he said some sort of creepy things right as he uh, expired. Um, he, he said that I did everything she wanted. He said this was what she wanted, my lady of loss. Um, basically, right after that, Isla uh, zipped up there to the balcony and... 
used the soul bag and sucked up the evil magic and probably his soul as well uh, into the bag. And the next thing that happened is um, a white light shot through the opening in the domed roof, lighting up the room and all the moon symbols throughout the church began to glow. Um, Chi, your holy symbol as well, uh, begins to glow. Now, I do want to stay in initiative for a little bit, because there are some guys in here that are not dead. Um, and I, I think we need to sort of deal with that first. Um, so the second all of this happens and this light erupts through the room, um... I would like everybody to make an insight check. Okay. Um. Nat one for Isla, baby. <laughs> Who's surprised? Literally no one. Funny. Okay, so insight. Ooh. Me um, <laughs> too. Yeah, Ronan didn't do so well, but she uh, got... 22. Um, or Alana got a five. Is that... Oh, yeah, I got a 27. I'm okay. I'm um, I got 17. Most people got a good score. Isla definitely did not. Um, you guys notice that these remaining cultists, there are two that are still up and about. One next to Orthok and one um, right in front of Hoots. Their demeanor does not change with the death of Father McKenzie. So um, there doesn't seem to be anything that changes about them, they still seem like crazed cultists ready to attack. Um, so. Um, we just had Isla's turn. Revan, it is your turn. Alright, I'll, um, I'll go ahead and try to hit the guy right in front of Hoots okay. um, with my Blade of the Tempest, so that'll be a 16 to hit. 16 is gonna miss. Oh. Yeah, okay. these are the, the beefy dudes that are still up. Anything That's else? That's quite annoying. Um, is there anybody who's, like, hurt? I can't remember from last session if anybody's, like, I feel in. like most people are kinda okay. Okay. I don't know. Some people are probably decently hurt. I don't know. How's if Darren looking? Voicing it, then... I'm alright. You're alright? Okay. Yeah, all right. like 60. That, that's it for me, then. Alright. Um, it is Ronin's turn. Now, previously oh. Ronin was blinded, but with this white light washing through the, the ceiling and all the iconography lighting up, I will say that her horned shadow dissipates and her sight returns. Yay! Very nice. Okay. Um, so how many guys alive? There is one, a dude two. up here next to Orthok, and then there is one dude right in front of Hoots. Yes. Well, what about? Oh, that, that's Allie. Yep. I'm looking at Allie. Well, because I, I hadn't seen his hadn't seen his sprite for a minute. I'm like, who is this person? Well, and he's okay, not dressed um, uh, the same way he normally is. So. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, let me do some distance measurement here. Okay, so what, 45 and 20. Okay. 45 and 20. Go look at the sheet. Uh, am I tripping? No, I'm not. Okay. Oh my god, click. Um, what is the range of that? And if you're going after the guy next to Orthok, you'll get advantage because he's right there. Okay. I was gonna use my crossbow, but I think both of them are too close for my crossbow. Maybe not. It shouldn't be too close. Yeah. I, so I the thought, first, okay. The first number is the practical range, so where you would get a straight roll. The second number is impre is maximum range where you would get disadvantage. Okay. I always struggle with 
<laughs> with ranged weapons. Okay. It's a so, little confusing. Yes. Yeah. So if it's if they are further than the maximum range, no go. Absolutely not. Yeah. Right. Do not. If it's between the go. first two numbers, it's disadvantage. Mm -hmm. But if below the practical range, straight roll. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless they're within five feet, and then it's disadvantage because firing into melee is a is. Unless difficult. you have like crossbow expert or yeah. Or those some, weird... I think there's some weird like there's a couple of feats. Things. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. We're doing crossbow then. Um, Do it. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. What is the? I always have the same, the same not panic attack, but the same <laughs> overwhelmed. Okay, because it's proficiency, and then plus her dex. Okay, yeah. Okay, no, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. Okay. So, yeah, she's going to go for... Um, honestly, I mean, I don't know. Both of these guys are doomed. I mean, one has two people, or three, I guess, if you count on a chi on him. And then the other has <laughs> Orthok. Um, I don't know about Orthok. Why the fuck not? He's advantage. Advantage. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we'll go for him. Okay. So, advantage, uh, we'll use these ones. So, three plus four, seven. So, uh, 23 to hit. Mm hmm. Definitely. Thank, thank you. Okay. Uh, and then that is. D8 plus yeah, three. Sneak attack. Yes, thank you. And then, yeah, the sneak attack, which. Did you roll with advantage? I did. Okay. Yeah, that was the higher one. Um, so, there's. And this. her sneak okay. attack is just. 2d6, so, I think, right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what it says on her sheet right here. Um, we will do these ones. Thank y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, You're good. Okay. So, that wasn't great. Um, so, 6 plus 3 is 9, plus my sneak attack is just 3. I rolled really low. So, 12 piercing. He is dead. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, that is her turn. She doesn't get multi-attack. Um, Correct. So yeah, that's it. Cool. Uh, Father McKenzie is also dead, so he does not get a turn. Darren, it is your turn. Okay, so I think I'm going to... Uh, let's do something fun. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. We're gonna... Always we're gonna... concerning. <laughs> we're gonna cast shatter on the uh the dude that is on hoots and let me get the thing real quick oh jesus you love that spell you it's love spell. that spell oh I shit do. i do it's him. it's one of the things i miss about playing karak <laughs> casting shatter and then uh channel divinity destructive wrath to oh, max the right. damage oh, jesus christ a deadly so, yeah, a deadly combination cast that on him uh, i need a constitution saving throw of course you do the last oh pile. oh i rolled well that is a 23 Wow. Damn. So he's still going to be taking half damage, though. So. That's fine. It's probably enough, honestly. He, this one. That's why I, I rolled kind of shit. Is the has the most health. So uh, he's going to be taking six points of thunder damage. Yeah, he's still he's still up. And then bonus action, I'm going to give bardic inspiration to Allie. Mmm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Just say, good to have you back, my brother. <laughs> Let's uh -oh. kick their asses. Yeah. He, he's, he's, uh, it's Allie's turn next, and he's going to say, um, I never left. And he's going to fire oh. two shots at this dude. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Gosh. Um, first attack. Natural 20. Yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah, my Good brother. Good job, Allie. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to be using a D10. Nice. 
Uh, math. Math, that was 19 points. And I need to... This minus that equals... Oof, okay. And he gets second attack. Uh, what's the... It's a d8 for Bardic Inspiration? Yeah, it's a d8. And if it still fails, uh, then he gets to keep it. Oof. Okay, uh, plus... Oh, yeah, he hits... Thank you for the Bardic Inspiration. He would not have hit otherwise. Nice. Eight plus five is 13. a number. Thirteen. <laughs> and this guy is dead as well. Very, mm. very nice. Um, okay. Is anybody else doing anything before we exit combat. Chi, I know you want to heal yes. somebody. I would I would like to run to the saloon I, that has been offed sure. uh, and uh, cast her vivify. It has not been a minute yet. Right. Um, and I will take those diamonds out of my inventory. You cast revivify um, and um, yeah, you see this person <gasps> breath return to them at last. And with that, combat does officially end. And what happens? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I don't know. We'll try this. So all these holy symbols are, are lit up around the room. This bright white light is pouring through the hole in the center of the dome and you cast this healing spell and revive this person and at last there is a sense of calm to this chaos in the sanctuary a moment passes and then you hear this sort of booming voice um, echo through the room um, it's sort of omnipresent you can't really pick where it's coming from uh, and you hear this voice chi that you you've heard before in, in your mind and and in your prayers a great evil has been vanquished this night one that threatened the very essence of light and life and all that is good i commend your victory but i also offer you these words of caution. Darkness and evil will do what it always does. Retreat to the shadows to plot its next scheme. Only the persistence of good can counter this. That is not to say that all darkness is evil. Light and dark are two sides of the same coin, just as me and my sister were once two halves of one being. Today, balance was restored, but I fear that this peace is tenuous. Even now, I sense that something great lurks somewhere unseen. You must remain diligent, on guard for dangers yet to come. The light sort of shifts and moves about the room and falls on you, Chi. Chi child of silver moon with golden hair, you have been resolute in your faith. Your goals have been consistent, and though they may appear simple to some, they have been far from easy. You have spent many years caring for others and worrying about what others want and need, but I wish to know what you want, what you wish for. Okay, okay. Um, shit. Um, wow, I mean, so this is the first, well, the first time, but I mean, uh, um, it's weird because she, at first, like, upon hearing the, those words of, like, you've always cared for others, blah, 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 like, a part of her, like, 
tenses up and like um is brought back to those times um and it's jarring at first but she's reminded you know uh, Salune, Salune uh, knows what's on your heart before you speak it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, she doesn't say anything at first. Um, and she kind of looks a bit lost for words um, because no one has asked her what it is she wants. Um, and I Yes, after some time, you know, she remembers like, oh, <laughs> I'm in this room. Um, and she says, um, I, I know that this piece is tenuous and I know that you know um, I know that darkness and evil in their own separate ways um, always return yet I want to contribute to a piece no matter how fleeting it is life is fleeting um, and how short peace may be, I just want to contribute to that for my family in Thol, and, oh, and she looks to all of and she says, my family here. I'm fucking crying, oh my god. Oh, shit. Okay, go ahead. There's like a, even though like there's no physical person standing in front of you, it's like the light itself, like there's a warmth that comes with it, almost like, it's like you can tell that she's smiling at you even though like you're not looking at her. Um, and she just says, your selflessness knows no bounds. There are many trials that lie ahead of you, and while you have grown more powerful and more faithful with each passing day, you will need help. And this beam of light compresses into a thin white beam like a laser that points at the altar in the center of this nave, and you watch the altar shake as the stone slab on top splits down the center and slides open, revealing a small, ornate chest of silver encrusted with diamonds and sapphires. Please accept this vestige as my mortal champion and high priestess of the moon. <laughs> yeah! Oh my god! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking oh go! God. Do you oh my God. open the chest? With shaking hands, yes. <laughs> With shaking hands, you open the chest. Inside, you see a beautiful circlet adorn uh, adorned with like tiny balls of starlight that cast a dim glow. You may look in D&D uh, &D Beyond and search for Crown of Stars Awakened. Okay. Um, in its dormant state, in this state, the Crown of Stars is a silver circlet adorned with tiny balls of starlight that cast a dim glow. The circlet magic magically resizes for the creature that wears it. In its dormant state, the crown has the following properties. You gain a plus one bonus to AC while wearing the crown. Um, while wearing or holding the crown, you can use an action to cause it to shed bright light in a 15 foot radius and dim light for an additional 15 feet. The light lasts until you extinguish it, no action required. The crown has three charges and regains all of its expended charges daily at dawn. 
While holding the crown, you can expend one charge from it to cast the invisibility spell. Ooh. In its awakened state, um, uh, the um, three tear-shaped jewels appear on the crown. Um, they are a deep, deep blue to represent the dark night sky. Um, the following benefits of the crown improve. The bonus to your AC increases to plus two. The number of charges increases to five. Um, and you get the additional properties. You can expend one of the crown's charges to end one of the following conditions on yourself, grappled, paralyzed, or restrained. Um, when another creature you can see within 60 feet of you fails a saving throw, you can expend one of the crown's charges as a reaction to enable the creature to re-roll the saving throw, potentially turning a failure into a success. The Holy. creature must take the new roll. I'm gonna... That's like... Find a way that's to... so awesome! Oh my god! Uh, I, I will email it to you when Google Chrome doesn't All right. It. Um, because it does not like me right now. It's totally fine. Uh, I would say the second, the second, like, you get this item and the dust settles in this room, Allie is gonna, like, scale the balcony to where you are, Isla, and just, like, <laughs> grab you and pull you into a hug, and he's just gonna be like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so glad you're okay. Like, yeah. I hug him back, and I say... <laughs> I'm just glad you're okay. We sent all those messages and you never responded. So I was so worried that you were brainwashed or dead or something. I didn't know. I was afraid if I responded, he would read my mind and he would use the information against you. I, I, I was just trying to fool him for as long as I could until, until he was dealt with. I knew you could deal with him. I, I just... I was just trying to buy time. I'm so sorry for worrying you. Well, you did it, honey, and I'm gonna pat him on the cheek again. <laughs> <laughs> you had him totally fooled. It was not, it was, you were gone a very long time. Uh, it was not easy. And there are other people in danger here. Uh, these acolytes, of course, need help, they need medical attention. There are others being held in the crypt behind the church uh, in the middle of the cemetery. I think there are other cultists there too. You might be able to get them to surrender or, or scare them. Uh, just there's still danger here. There are other parts of the city that he still has control over. And I'd say like around this time, you guys definitely hear the sound of like cannon fire echoing from way off at the coast um and like you can tell there's a battle that's still going on somewhere okay well let's let's take care of these people that need help let's get back to our ship let's get the fuck out of here um i'm gonna uh uh give Allie's uh, cloak of the manta ray back to him. <laughs> like, hey, I was keeping it warm for you. Um, <laughs> I think you need this. Thanks. Uh, it looked pretty good on you. I mean, but, uh, <laughs> I, I appreciate it. And he, he puts it, he like pulls off all the like black and purple and like tosses it aside <laughs> and puts on his red coat. I feel a little bit more like myself. Um, and he's gonna like grab just like a strip of cloth and tie it to cover up the brand on his forehead because he's <laughs> not about that. Uh. Benji. <laughs> <laughs> the chat says giving Sorry. Isla a show there with a winky face. I just got that. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> oh, he's not like my stripping. Before, which he's... Was, Isla gave Papa or Isla gave Daddy K the big suck. Yeah, so then, <laughs> did you thumbs down that, Emily? Someone I did. Yeah, you did. Thank <laughs> you very much. I also said stop, stop, stop when you. So, <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Like, what's the plan? 
Like, you, you've been I told that there are cultists out back guarding a group of acolytes in the crypt. How do you, how do you uh, want to deal with it? We can it? go to the crypt and I can just tell them, hey, your leader's dead. We no, no, killed no, no, him. No. Get I got the a fuck better. out of here. <laughs> I got a better idea. Why don't we throw Papa K's body into the crypt? <laughs> we we could do that. We could carry his body down. That <laughs> might help with the intimidation. <clears throat> we killed your leader. Get the fuck out of here. And surrender. That's certainly a very direct way of handling the situation. I think it'd be funny. Yeah, I mean, we could, yeah, why not? Why not at this point? Is there any world where this somehow backfires on us and he comes back to life by taking him down in the crypt? The thing you guys just did, and this is Allie talking, what, what was that? You, something happened, some thing went into another thing, what was that? Yeah, when we were in the Feywild place, the creepy magic place, we, we found two, like, soul bags that eat people's souls up, and so we, we, we ate his soul up, and it's in here now. And I kind of wiggle the bag around. Maybe oh, don't, yeah, maybe don't wiggle like, that around. It's tied, it's okay. From, be, from coming back, since his soul is kind of trapped? Yeah, I don't think it can be revived or nothing, right? Yeah, normally reviving involves the soul returning to the body, if it's willing, and this would suggest that his soul cannot make it to his body. Willing, but it's definitely not able right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? Okay. Indeed. Also, all the cannon fire I'm hearing, I'm assuming that's you guys? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we might have enlisted the help of the butcher? She's chill right now. But it's okay. <laughs> Hill. It's it it's okay. Uh, it's she, a tentative truce. Yeah, she agreed to help us with Father Mackenzie, um, as long as we made sure the Platinum Shield uh, did not arrest her and her crew. Yeah, Oops is out there we too. Got them too. <laughs> Orthok is gonna is gonna say, "Did you just call us Oops?" Uh, yeah. yeah, order, order of, of the platinum, platinum shield. shield. Oops. O O P S. Oops. Oopsies. The well, maybe order not. of the like, platinum <laughs> shield. Totops. <laughs> but see, Utopus does not. It, it doesn't quite have the same ring to it. You know, you gotta have the little. It has the little je ne sais quoi. Like, oops. oops is just so succinct. You don't capitalize the these anyway, you right? You just capitalize the. Technically, o you don't capitalize the, the of either, but. Who cares? Shh, ops. Oh, ops would be cool. Ops would be cool. Because it's short. For, it, it's like but operation. It's operation. But Oops, is like, operation. I can't for the life of me figure out why the world hasn't heard of you guys yet. <laughs> <laughs> I think a few people have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, at this point, you'd be like, this was, I, I had no idea that the situation in Braylock was this extreme. Um, I'm people will hear about this for sure let's we're just glad we could help honestly and i'm glad, glad i was able to help kick that dude's ass he's really creepy so i'm glad Colorfully we took put. care of him well let's uh f- finish dealing with this uh remaining issue okay so just Walk me through the plan, guys. So question: Can can the crypts? Can the people in the crypts see the giant? Isn't there like a huge stained glass so, like window at the top of this tower where we're at? Oh, uh, Ali will probably try to l- explain to you where these people are. So you're in the nave of the sanctuary. He tells you that there's sort of like an ante room behind um, with doors that lead out into the cemetery and the crypt is like a separate building. He tells you that there probably are a couple guards out in the cemetery and then somebody or more than one person in the crypt guarding the remaining acolytes. So... See, I just think it would be so funny to fling his body through a big stained glass window for it to land... 
in in the graveyard. It does have that theatrical. It's thing. certainly doable. I think that would be so funny. Does anyone have mending? I do. <laughs> Does anyone have I do. Okay. Can we wait? Can you reach the window? Question mark. I'm sure that's Hoots can fly him up. Hoots can fly him up. My yeah. Okay. As long as the integrity of the church is not compromised, great. Oh yeah, we'll fix it. It's just we just need the dramatic flair. Just, okay. Go 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 go. <laughs> um, is there anything you guys want to do? <sighs> I hate this question. To the body before throwing it out of stained glass window. Um, could do some uh, some prestidigitation shit. <sighs> to do what? <laughs> okay. Oh, hear me God. out. Let him cook. So I'm my, glad you my asked. My plan oh, my is to. Um, I kind of want to like look at Chi's holy symbol and put that on his forehead. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Brand so that, him with the symbol of salute. Yeah, make it look oh. like there's a, a salute. Oh, really? No, 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 no. Do we have to just make it look like it? I mean, I got a candle and I got a lighter. Um, you need, I think a you lighter. need like a metal. I'm picturing like Isla metal. pull out like a Zippo lighter. Yeah, you, you have to have like a, like a, you a, need uh, a metal, a metal thing that's heated yeah. in a forge yeah. and then, <laughs> or in a, yeah. in like so a That's so boring bonfire. though. That's how, that's how that works. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I all we have to do is, is make them see it. Like it lasts, I think an hour. Um, mm, so crazy. we just have to have them see it um Jesus. like yeah yeah Look, uh, play stupid games win stupid prizes people he's uh, branding people true. M- much like my irl self if people mess with my friends i'm gonna like fuck them up so yeah. we're gonna psychologically fuck up these cultists by wow. um, we are doing so that. much less like neutral <laughs> good than last campaign <laughs> I don't know what y'all are talking about. Uh, my ass definitely good aligned. I don't know what y'all are. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to picture mm. our last campaign characters doing this. And <laughs> right? So Elzaris 100% would. Elzar, yeah, Elzaris. Is, yeah. Elzaris would. Yeah, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure. For so sure. <laughs> yeah, Man. I think that's the plan. Okay. Um, who's checking the body? Oh, I'll check the body. And so will, um, Elzaris. Not Elz. wow, I'm saying Elzaris. Or Alana. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's another rogue played by Caroline, so. Yeah, okay. exactly. Oh, so so you put this symbol on Father McKenzie's forehead, and you guys are gonna <laughs> throw him out the window. Mm-hmm. Um. Oh boy. Will you give me, nope. like, an athletics or or yeah strength? I can give a nice athletics check, and so can Orlana. If she's helping you, then you can roll with advantage. Okay, that works. Um, that's a 17 plus 7 for a 24. Okay, so you guys all hear the sound of glass shattering as Father McKenzie's body is chucked out the large stained glass window. Um, I also would like... Who put the brand on his head? Darren? E. Why don't you give me an intimidation roll at advantage? Oh god, it's gonna oh, be an insane yeah, roll. It's not as insane as my persuasion or uh or deception, but I would be concerned be if it okay. was uh insane. That is a dirty twenty. Ooh. Um okay. So I would say <laughs> I I would say um are y'all like listening or watching any of like, oh, yeah. what's 
listening, watching both, either or, what's, what's both. going on? Hey, both. Both, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, um, so this happens, you definitely hear the sound of, like, footsteps is, it sounds like a couple individuals run over to where the body, uh, <laughs> landed, and <laughs> there's, like, a, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I don't... You'd probably just hear, like... Like, oh my god! Our father has perished! And, like, the sound of, like, yelling and, you know... A couple people run out of the crypt and they see this and... Um... I think there's just, like, a moment of just, like... Not being sure what to do and... You hear them sort of deliberate and panic with each other and... They hear the right. sound of cannon fire coming from the coast, which is adding to their fear. Yes, Darren? Can I press the digitation and make my voice sound, <laughs> like, so much louder? E yes. Okay, so I will yell out of the, the window. <clears throat> Salune's light will... Uh, fuck <laughs> <laughs> will night. purge all evildoers. Leave this place. Oh, her, Give me another intimidation roll so at advantage. I'm I'm just picturing it. Sun Salune's like, oh fuck. Oh, fuck. oh. Fuck. Uh, uh, <laughs> right. I was about to type that it's out. A Nineteen. <laughs> Nineteen. Um, there's like a moment where they just sort of panic and look at the the broken stained glass window and they they drop their weapons and they're like we're sorry and they just flee they just run out into the streets in a panic um as they should yeah good job uh you guys are <laughs> you guys go check out the back and uh it seems like the uh the cemetery has been abandoned, and the door to the crypt is open. All right. Go in. Yeah, let's go, go in. in. All right. Um, yeah, you uh, go into the crypt, and you find... Um, do I have a description for the crypt? Mm, um, no, I don't. Well, you go into the crypt. It's small. Um, it's sort of a smallish crypt with some, you know, some graves and stuff, and you see there's, like, a grouping of, like, at least 15 to, 15 to 20 acolytes that have been bound, and they look kind of emaciated, and they're just sort of, like, huddled together um, in fear, but they look up, and they see you guys as you enter, and you just see the relief on their face, um, uh, seeing that they've been rescued at last, um, yeah, they're very, they're very gracious, and their eyes go wide, Chi, when they see um, your circlet of, of stars and your Salune, like, robes and iconography. They, uh, like, tears are in their eyes there. Oh, um, the moon very... came to save you. She saved us. This is why we pray. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very nice. Yeah. Why don't we go to break? Okay. And we will come back after. Very nice. I yeah. okay. Uh, throwing Father McKenzie out a window was not on my bingo card. <laughs> it should have been actually. It should have been. been. It How could you been. not have guessed that? So we're back. We've all been uh, able back. to get refreshments and cheese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ouch. Monster cheese. Hey, Joe, I'm with you. It's fine. I I didn't say it was wrong to get cheese. I'm just pointing out that you went and got sure. two slices of cheese. Anyway, you just rescued some people from the crypt. There's cannon fire happening at the coast. I would say at some point you hear a bell start to toll um, uh, in the city. Dead. 
Dolde dead. Um, what are you guys doing? What do you want to do? Can we canonically fix the window now that we've had our fun? Yeah. Like, a- yeah. Oh well, shit! Let's see if we can get uh, hoots to fly me up and fix the fix the cast mending like a bunch of times on the window. Jory, you cast mending on the uh, on the window, and and you're able to do that. Mm. I'm still not over the bell sound that you added in. That's fire. Is it, okay, is this bell for like a certain time of day? Like, is it? No, it's like It a- is not, you know right now that it is not directly on the hour or on like a quarter or a half hour. So this bell is ringing not to designate a time, but just like sporadically ringing. Let's go to the docks. Just keep it ringing. Why don't we? Wow. Oh. All right, you're going to the docks? Well, now sure. I feel like we need to investigate the bell tower. <laughs> I'm like, well, where is the bell tower? You keep ringing it. You keep ringing it. I'm like, oh. well, it's for atmosphere. Am I not for allowed atmosphere. to ring the bell for atmosphere? You're not allowed. I just, I just, I just doubt your intentions. But we'll go to the atmosphere. Atmosphere. Uh, Doc. I can't Why believe you would doubt my intentions. What could I have ever done? <laughs> to cause such that a thing. Just, that just makes me think of the meme where it's like you throw something in for flavor and then your your players will never yeah. forget it and they have to investigate it to death. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It happens quite absolutely. Often, but yeah. yeah, well we can go to the docks. Sure. Let's go to the docks. Yeah, you uh race down to the docks. I will say Orthok. Well, I don't know. If if you guys rescued those acolytes and heal some of them up, then he'll go with you. Otherwise, he'll stay. What do you want? Well, in case we have to fight again, I don't want to... TBH, I don't want to heal. Yeah, he can stay with him. That's fine. That's fine. We can do something on our own for once. Yeah, the big threat is passed, I think. So. <laughs> okay. Um, you guys, uh, race, race down to the docks, and I would say, like, as you guys are moving towards the docks, like, you can see, um, you can see that while there is, like, still, like, the ship battle, um, happening out at sea, um, there seems to have also started some, some squabbles in the streets. Um, there are cultists that are fleeing, there are what just looks like everyday people, like men and women that are fighting these guys. Um, yes. Yeah, they, they've at least noticed the fight at the coast and maybe what's happening up at the church. And they have, um, you know, taken up arms against these cultists that were trying to control the city. Um, and so you're racing through the streets and seeing this happen and... Um, yeah, you get down to the docks, and you look out at the water, and right as just this um, outpouring of fire spews out of the figurehead of the butcher ship and engulfs one of Mackenzie's ships in flames, and you just hear screams echo across the harbor. Um, cannon you. fire is blasting. Um, it's... I'd say by the time you get down there, one of them, one of the ships for sure looks like it's starting to capsize, and the other one is actively on fire. Um, yes! Excellent. Uh, is there anything else that you guys are wanting to do, hoping to do? I don't know. Do I see someone on one of those ships that looks evil, and can I shoot them? I mean, they're probably kind of far away i like i don't think also you decided to go at night so it's dark visibility is poor Um, nah 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 it's fine what do you mean nah nah Um, yeah it's i don't know Um, i mean does it look like there's anyone causing trouble on the docks that's not just like running away there's probably definitely ways in which you can be helpful and just sort of help pick off some of these remaining cultists. I don't think it's anything we have to, like, roll initiative to get into, but we can say that sure. you guys are doing that. Absolutely. Um, I'd say 
like as y'all are helping this and and helping chase off these cultists um once that is sort of starting to get a handle on itself and um it seems clear that y'all are gonna win uh this battle um I'd say, you know, the people are starting to gather around you. They notice that you guys are very powerful. You you seem to be sort of, like, spearheading a lot of this, like, change in, in the control over the city. And um, I would say... Um, I would say a human uh, guy walks up to you. And the way he's dressed, he looks like... He looks kind of like city guard-ish, but he's, like, dirty, um, looks a little on the thinner side, looks like maybe he's seen some shit, but he kind of walks up to you, um, and says, uh, are, are you the ones that brought these forces? Yes. Yep. Oh, man. <sighs> Thank you. We didn't have a way to get word out. We we didn't think anybody was coming. Say so we had uh, some inside connections and reasons to to bring this here, but we're we're glad we could help. Mm-hmm. We're forever grateful. I I don't even know who you are, but we've at this man, this. McKinsey guy and all of his followers they just sort of took control they they killed all of our our carrier pigeons they they took control of the the harbor the main roads uh, they took control of the jail I, I, I don't know if we would have been able to we're forever in your debt Who are you guys? (laughs) Sorry. Who are you guys? We are the Yo-Ho-Ho's. Yeah, roll credits. I've never heard of you. (laughs) Most people have, and it's okay. But we are glad to have helped out. Do you control this fleet? No. Uh, we control <laughs> definitely not. Uh, these are just some some friends and uh, I guess we could also say enemies of our enemy. Uh, yeah, we got some pirates we got some involved. We got oops involved. You know, <laughs> we... As y'all are just like, yeah, these are just like some friends. Like, you see, you see like the Order of the Platinum Shield ship and your own ship get on either side of this on fire boat and just blast it with cannon fire as it starts to capsize and sink and this is all just like happening like behind y'all while you're chatting with this dude like yeah it's just friends and he's just like you have some very powerful friends they're pretty they're pretty good yeah we have the right friends i'd say well, thank you. I, if it weren't for y'all's timing, showing up when you did, I, I don't think we would have won the day. Glad to be a service. Well, anything, anything we can do to help you, anything you need, just let us know. Uh, we need to, we just need to do some checks and and you know, counter people and make sure everybody's okay and make sure we chase off the last of these cultists. For sure. We can revisit that later. For sure. Um, yeah, they're super grateful and, and very quickly, you know, this whole situation kind of gets squashed. Um, you know, you watch McKinsey's two ships sink in the harbor, and eventually the Butcher, uh, your ship, the Ocean's Breast, and then the Order of the Platinum Shield ship pull in, <laughs> pull in uh, and, and dock, and 
you're able to sort of like rally with your allies and uh, and get together. It, what would you guys like to do? Are there things you would like to happen in the aftermath of this? What are your immediate goals? I think I kind of just want to go like <clears throat> systematically like through different parts of town just to make sure like make rounds just to make sure all the cultists are are gone for sure yeah and then in places where they have i'm just gonna like press the digitation the the like um the holy symbol of salune on like a big like building wall or something right for sure um do i know if there's any anything i can do for ali's brand at all any way to reverse that <sighs> That's a good question. I don't, I don't know if the yeah, I was gonna really say that. at some point Isla's definitely gonna like pull him into her room and like disinfect it and like <laughs> <laughs> try to put some cord and neosporin on it or something. I feel wow. like we're with me on that point now. <laughs> it's been like nine months, girl. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I mean he so. wasn't with McKinsey for all nine, but he was definitely with McKinsey for several months and <laughs> Oh yeah, it would have been. It would have healed by then. At least a couple of them. Look, Ugh, she's gonna do what she can. Torture. Um, it's a pretty nasty brand. Is a nasty scar at this point. Ugh. Um, maybe if y'all periodically, you know, try to heal him, it can fade a little bit with time. It may never fully go away without some greater magics, you know? Um, okay. I feel like that wording was intentional. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit. Hang on. I have some huh? I mean, Honestly, I've not thought vacation. about it that far. In my mind, I'm just like, this would be a really... <laughs> be like a weird use of polymorph. <laughs> like, true polymorph. <laughs> I was thinking okay. greater restoration. Greater restoration. I know, yeah. I know Lune, that I don't really believe in you or pray to you all that frequently, aka ever. But if you could do anything to help Ali get this brand off of his forehead, I would really, really appreciate it because it's kind of, it's kind of not great. And <laughs> like I was straight up praise. <laughs> I don't know if Greater Restoration would really it, it, do the anything. Effects, the effects don't suggest that they would, which yeah. is sad. Um, I mean, maybe like spell. a really powerful heal spell. Okay. I don't know. I feel like, you know, regular healing might help fade it, but I, I don't necessarily foresee it getting rid of a scar. I feel like, yeah. I, I, I don't know of any spell that would, which you makes know? me sad. I'm like, there, this is a <laughs> There's like a gap in, um, a gap in what those all these spells can do. I don't really believe in you <laughs> to the goddess that literally just talked to us. Quite literally, I mean, I know. It's. I feel like you can't actually be like an atheist in a D and D world. So you say like literally you would have to be like kind of crazy because they literally show up and like walk around right. i think i think what she meant maybe is more like oh, you i know, don't follow like, you yeah you know. you're okay whatever yeah. you know yeah. which is fine <laughs> Honestly, i really believe in you like i know you just talked to us but like uh, i don't know if that was real i'm still on the fence about you you know not uh, sure not sure about that I'm super on the fans. You're pretty great for like my friend, but I don't know if you're for me, you know? I mean, oh my god. Solid. Sort oh of. My god. Good grief. What if, what if we got no Ali cursed too and he had his own coin and then when he died, he came back with no scars either? Oh, well, wow. okay, babe, really <laughs> appreciate the sentiment. I don't want this cursed thing that you guys have i'm i'm good without that i don't i don't need that yeah yeah that's fair it's kind of shit isn't it i i feel like there's a lot of things you guys don't know about it that kind of freaks me out 
Yeah. Like everything. Yeah, we know like nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want that. Um, I think I think what I would also do is just like um kind of like what we did in Alan Fear, where it is just go around like assisting, like all the violence is probably chilled out, but like you know, like Right. Tending to for sure and there's certainly there's certainly a lot of people that you can help like these people the ones that weren't captured have been like in hiding for months you know they've not been able to eat properly and you know they <laughs> they're gonna have a lot of like trauma to deal with you know um and the ones that were captured have probably not been fed properly they've probably been like hurt or or tortured who knows so there's certainly a lot of healing that needs to happen and i would say orthok would probably talk to you guys and and say um clearly we have a need here uh the order of the platinum shield i i think we will we will stay here and help you know rebuild and and take care of these people. They have uh, experienced something horrible, and they need our help and our aid, and that is what the Platinum Shield is for. Um, I'm going to try to establish uh, some lines of communication with other people to, to let them know what's happened here, to let them know who this... Uh, Father McKenzie figure was in this sort of cult that infested this town. Uh, and I'm going to make sure that they know you. Know of what you've done here to help save this place. I, that can't go unnoticed. I mean, it could. <laughs> do you Wait, I mean, not want us to... What she means is we don't do it for we don't do it for you know. Fame. No, I meant I'm literally like a freaking pirate fugitive. <laughs> oh, I forgot. That. Uh, okay, maybe not the best thing to uh, to say. I didn't say that out loud. I, I pretend I didn't <laughs> but... say that. Um, I, th that you that's guys do have a tendency to overshare. Literally every NPC you guys walk up to these Shut days, you're like, thing. okay, so we're cursed. These are these coins. There's this thing about Cthulhu. She was a bloody pirate captain that killed a bunch of people. And like, you know, we're doing this thing. I mean, it's good to have context. Everybody that. Yeah. Just like, You've told a lot of people. The important everything. people. Isla has no brain to mouth filter. She says a lot of stuff. But I mean, it's also, I mean, okay. Context is important. You know, like, we've got quite an asterisk on it. I just don't know that I want my name and face everywhere. If you don't um, want me to tell anybody about you guys, that can be arranged. Well, I But will, <laughs> you've done some really good work. I if you're worried about your likeness, did, did people know of your likeness? Because I didn't, you know, when we were... I look Just... at Allie. <laughs> I feel like I most mean, people had heard your name. We were didn't know who pretty you were. secretive. Yeah. I think most people didn't even know that you were a girl, let alone yeah, a, an didn't. elf. So, see, yeah. elf. Then that's there's probably a, fine. There's a reason why a bunch of people thought I was you. Yeah, I mean, I thought you were. Including her. me for a while. Yeah, we. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that was a weird time. You look the part. I gotta say, thanks. I, I still think I still think about it. The, when it, it was the storm, and then you just appeared, and uh, it was so look, scary. half of being a pirate is being intimidating. Okay, you don't yeah. have to you got actually the like to down, and I appreciate that. Exactly. The man of the arts. Exactly. I That's appreciate right. that. I'm not that. You know, and I'm thinking maybe this bandana thing works for me. You know, it's just sort of okay. adds. It does work for you. Right? Well, we, can, we can spruce it up a bit, but uh, for sure, for yeah. sure. 
It's definitely a red bandana. Oh yeah, we'll say it's absolutely. like a, you know, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, we don't we don't do this for fame or anything, but um, I guess you can share our name. You're right. I forgot people don't know who I am. And full transparency, I can share your name, and they can think it's a joke. That's true. That's true. Our name That's is really pretty awesome. great. Just saying, it's you know, it's it's colorful, it's creative. Might not super fly with the upper echelon of like world leaders. Just saying, just putting that out there. But you don't want to go to like a world council and say, "Hey, the yo ho ho saved the day." Have you thought about? Um, you know, running your group name through a few focus groups. Nah. <laughs> You're gonna do some A-B testing. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, doesn't it make sense, though? I mean, if we're on the sea most of the time, like everyone else is, you know? Are you all hoes? <laughs> no, I'm saying we're... At least a couple shanties. of us, maybe. <laughs> There's a couple of us. You know. <laughs> Ali is just like, look, I, I don't think the name's gonna change, buddy, so you wanna share it? You wanna become famous or you wanna not? So, uh, remember, 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 you guys are the way. I mean, you can share it. We are not officially referred to as oops. Just saying, we are the Order of the Platinum Shield. That's You're oops in my heart. I cool okay it's a so, good place to keep it mm -hmm. so yes i can share your name yeah yes people can think it's a joke and if they meet us and don't take us seriously then that's on them i'll try really? to explain the situation and explain you know what you've done i mean we certainly wouldn't have gotten here without uh, you guys notifying us about this situation, so. What if you referred to us as like YH squared or something instead of yo ho hoes? Would that make people take us more seriously? I feel like that is so not. Uh, YH squared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Again, we can, we can focus work groups. on it. We can work on focus it. Focus groups. To be fair, to be fair, YHH uh, could. You know, just the like, initials, like, like the, the yeah, as, as long as as long as it's all caps, because otherwise people would be like, e <laughs> and that <laughs> might not fly. No, but I I genuinely I genuinely think our people not taking us seriously is kind of our strength here. Sorry, I think I broke a back. <laughs> I just <laughs> wasn't ready for that sound. <laughs> that might be the Don't worry, you can clip that and save it as your text <laughs> notification. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe yeah. like full on witch cackle. That made oh me gosh, legit so in my head under my table. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, I've had two days where I've had to wake up super early and I'm You're like, fine. You're <laughs> fine. Oh, that was amazing. Kind of in, half in dreamland and it's great. Love it. Mm. That was amazing. But no, mm. I mean, if they don't want to take us seriously, yeah, that is our strength of ours. That's, that's kind of been our strength, I think, so far. Sure. You can decide what to call us. No, I don't <laughs> think I can. <laughs> I'll just, I'll just tell them that you were involved. Maybe I'll stick to initials. If they ask, I'll tell them your name, and they can... Oh, will Mortimer, will Mortimer be there? I, I don't know. I was, I was just gonna send out some... Oh. I can contact Mortimer if you, if you would like. Well, um, we can contact him, too. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> we, we, I don't know uh, why I thought he was going to, like, some sort of, like, meeting. I thought he was going to some sort of meeting to talk to talk about this. He's just trying to establish connection with people because Braylock has been cut off, and so he just needs right. to notify people that something has happened. So, yeah, we can take care of notifying Mortimer and Usher. 
Um, that would that would help. I I'll I can contact um, Mel Dora is kind of close. I'll contact um, the I don't know. I don't know if it would be a lord or a mayor or a governor or whatever, but I'll contact whoever's mm-hmm. in charge and um, see if they can send some aid since they're pretty nearby. Side note, um, is that where uh, friggin' Adrillus said he was? Maldorai? Or no? Adrillus, I think at one point, said he was gonna visit Maldorai, but I think you'd know that right now he's in Pelamari. Pelamari. I was like, it's one of the two, I remember. Okay. Okay. Um, or at least I, the last I... time you talked to him, he said he was there. Can I pull out the 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 compass oh. and see where like our friends are? By f- be more specific. Like um, our other adventuring oh, group. Oh, you know what? 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 What about what about like Fortune's favorite and all them? It's like because it kept saying. Is that That's what you're meaning? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I did not get that from friends. <laughs> I was getting there, but... Oh, okay, got you. My bad. Okay. Yeah, where's um, Fortune's favored? So you're thinking about Fortune's favored while holding the compass. Allie, yeah. Allie's gonna see you pull out the compass and be like, I see you found my... Well, I'm glad you held on to it. Hey, um, you know, it's how we found you. Yeah. I'm glad it was of use. Um, it's also how we found um, Eleanor Rigby by accident. So, you know, it really came in handy. <laughs> I see. Well, we're going to have a lot to talk about. That's, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. You think of Fortune's Favored while holding the compass, and it points um, west. Like to Calamari. I think you know what you've done, so. <laughs> but, God, does it just continue to pointing west, like, no matter where we are? That's so annoying. Well, no, it was southwest earlier. Remember, it pointed more toward, oh. like, Hangman's Alley, but then we changed our oh. direction, and now it's just west. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I also want to um, ask Amanda, would... Because I don't know if I've asked this before. I genuinely can't remember. But um, in knowing about like the Mythic Six to some degree, mm. would I also know about Helm's Watch? Um, their sort of relation to them, specifically Dietrich the Wise. Let us make like, how a much of this is history down? check. Okay. Can I give her aid? Because I remember so many things. No. <laughs> Sorry. No. Uh, no. History. What is that for me? Um, oh, I'm proficient. Uh, I got a fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, you definitely have heard of Helm's Watch. Um, I'd say you know of Dietrich the Wise. Um, what I can't decide is if you know what happened to Dietrich the Wise. I'd like, say with yeah. a 15, you might not know all of that. How much of it do I know? <sighs> I would say that you knew that a Dietrich the Wise existed, was a member of Helm's Watch. You do not know that, theoretically, he is still in existence as an evil entity. Got it. Okay. Allie will probably, you know, as he sort of settles in with you guys and being happy to be back with you guys, um, he'll just sort of say, um, well, um, I think I know why you headed to Braylock, um, but what exactly is the well, honestly, I, I would love to hear about where you guys have been. I got some tidbits through those messages, but you guys were gone an awfully long time. And then I guess right. I want to know where we're going next. Where are we going, Cotton Eye Joe? Um. 
<sighs> we were stuck in the Feywild for like, what was it, six months? Nine months. Something like that. Yeah. Or wait. Yeah. Because we were gone nine months, but I don't know how much of that was in the island place. Was it nine months in the? Versus... Well, we were stuck in the Feywild for a while, and then we it was nine months we... because y'all made a bunch of jokes about people potentially being oh, pregnant when yeah, you came that's back. Right. We're like, they could have had a baby. <laughs> yeah, so we were stuck in the Feywild, <laughs> and then we trusted some Fey guy, and he gave us something to eat or something, and then we woke up on the island again, and um. We had died, like we we had died, because I, I don't know if you can tell, I don't have my scars anymore, so that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, and then we had to escape the Her island. Ears back. Hmm. Yeah, I I'd Her say ears like back. now that he's like you know feels like he's safe and he can sort of relax a little bit, he is starting to notice these things, and he'll just sort of like he'll like grab your arm and pull up your sleeve and be like. I could have sworn that I yeah. grazed you here with a sword once. Yeah, I And then he'll, like, grab time. your ears and just be like, they're both there. Before what? before I leave town, I want to get a tattoo. Don't get it back. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> it was, it was a, it was kind of a dumb idea when we did it. I, are you sure about that? Yes. Bro, let her do it. A couple tattoos are cute. <sighs> but I have the wrong Y'all name really tattooed cute. on me now. I mean, just get a cover up, man. <sighs> Jack doesn't it's exactly easily turn into Isla. It's not the wrong name. I mean, it's. It's not the name you prefer. But it is my name. <sighs> but it's like it's like not your name anymore, you know. It's it's fine. If you want the tattoo, you get it. I'm, it's your. You do what you want. I'm not Would it really you bother you if I got no, it again? No, 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 no. I just don't want you to. I just don't want you to do it because you feel like you have to do it. You know. I just don't want you to like. You know. Eat. Do whatever. Do whatever makes you happy. Okay. <laughs> it's, 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 <laughs> oh, if the man. compass is still pointing west, um, so uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So we so we were gone, um, and then we right, we were explaining where we were. Yeah, we were back right. on the island. We left the island, and then we came back to to Navalor, um, and picked up pieces. Um, and when we came back, Fortune's Favored had disappeared. Um, much like other people have disappeared. But when we yes. when we use the compass, they it, it points west. Well, now it used to point like southwest, and now it points west. Um, and so I, I think that's probably our next thing. Yeah. I mean, the only city in that direction is Pelamari. There's Pelamari. There's also, I mean, maybe it's, I don't know what it's called. The the little island that's crossed out and says caloric. I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to say. Uh, hang on. Uh, I um, couldn't tell you Caloran. anymore. It's like Caloran. Caloran or something. I would that. say the way the compass is pointing, it's... It's almost straight west from Braylock, so it. So that's Pelamari. okay. I, I mean, it's, it's or it could Pelamari be in the too. peaks. No, I hope. I mean, it could be the oh, mainland be. past Kadath. You know, it could be. Yeah. I don't know what it. What, what is over there? It could be the somewhere in Morgan. Country. You know, I don't. And all we know is it's west and. My family's there too. Um, so if we go to Pelamari and it's not there, we just we keep check going again and keep going. So that's the goal: is to get to Pelamari as quickly yeah. as possible. Adrilus is there too, so we could probably have upgrades to our ship, or maybe some more money or something, because um, we haven't seen him. Since then we, got we back. definitely need to go to Hangman's Alley because you probably don't remember this, Isla, but. 
Well, the best secret about Hangman's Alley is it's got a cut through. What? <gasps> yeah. It's a whole underground... What? Passage. That, like, a ship can get through? Oh, yeah. <gasps> what? Only the best of the best pirates get told where Hagman's Alley is, and that's how we get no. around the archipelago so quickly. Oh my god! That's okay. so freaking cool. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go to Hagman's <laughs> Alley, kill two that's birds with one stone. Uh, 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 we never. needed to ask about, um, about the Cloud King's crew anyway. Yeah. What happened to him? Yeah. Right. We'll definitely... You can definitely figure some of that information out there. Now, I will say, though the general public doesn't super know what Bloody Jack looks like, people at Hangman's Alley probably do. Like, so, okay. actually definitely do. Now, so, I don't... I'm, I'm not gonna lie, ever since... Um, We'll just call it the incident two years ago. I don't really you call a spade a spade. It, it... Ever since that, I didn't really hang out there much, you know. Um, so I haven't really checked in in a while. But Jack did make some enemies, so. So my question is, can I buy some like? Um... Not blue-colored makeup and cover myself in makeup to look not blue. I've got a disguise kit. We can we can definitely yeah. work something together. We could do something. What enemies did, did Jack make? Like, is there a specific thing that, that we need to figure out? Most like everyone. <laughs> pirate <laughs> council. What pirate council? Pirate council. There's a pirate council. It's not the moron. So like, kinda, it's a little complicated. Um, we just sort of tend to kind of divvy up the trade routes and claim territories that we, you know, stake out. Um, and when I went insane, I didn't follow any of that, so I pissed some people off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it, okay. Yep. That's yep. fair. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think, I think a disguise kit would be great. Um, Allie, do you know, like, when you were masquerading, uh, do you know, I guess, more about what Mackenzie was doing? I mean, we knew enough about what he was doing to stop him, but is there anything? He seemed to be out? under the impression that if he did this ritual, it would block out the moons. And, and that would somehow weaken Solune and her followers and maybe give more power to Char. I don't fully know what the, the long-term goal was, but that's at least what he thought would happen. Because Eleanor said that when we asked her, because that was, we, we found her out, interrogated her, and we asked what the kid was doing and she said what the wise one tasked him to do and then when he died he said you know he told me this is what she wanted and i mean it sounds like he might be talking about Arthog. maybe he was pulling the strings but i he I certainly know, so. was in communication with somebody um but he was very guarded about who that was it seemed like he answered to somebody, but I, I don't know I don't know how much of this plan came from this other person or or what. I don't know who they are or where they are, but he definitely seemed to like receive messages from somebody, but he would keep it really close to the chest. Regularly though? Yeah. So they'll know that he's dead. <laughs> Probably. I mean, Can we ride? It, it, he was gonna fail anyway, though. I mean, there was no way that ritual was gonna work, right? You destroyed the other one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Blood tears are 
are destroyed and their energy is sealed in both those bags. Or one bag. Both no. bags. Both bags. One in yes. each. We kept them separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um can we write to Mortimer and let him know that we handled the situation with Father McKenzie? You certainly can. I think Darren, yeah, don't absolutely. you have the book? Okay. Yeah, let me let me write. And then also, Claudia, maybe can we send a message? Perfect. Okay. To to whom? To Escher? Escher. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Okay. The so people well. that we told that we told or thought that we would message <laughs> before we forget to do so. Yeah, okay. Um uh, been a while since we talked to Mortimer and Escher. I, I know. Like, what, what do they know? I can't remember what we last Gosh. said to them. I'm trying to remember um, if I remember what they know. I feel like it's been months. Like I IRL. Don't. I think it has been IRL months. <laughs> okay. Um, Goodness me. I would say. And you can tell me if it's too if it's too much, Bigler. But I would say, like, just generally on the regular, Ali probably has his arm like around your shoulder or your waist or something, and he probably absentmindedly fiddles with your newly returned ear whenever he gets the chance. Yeah, it's cute. I let him Thank do you. it. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, I think at some point the butcher would probably also just sort of check in with y'all and just sort of be like, um, so are we done here? Yeah, we took care of the problem. You helped us take care of the problem. I felt Thanks. pretty good to slash down some, uh, squishies, some <laughs> meat sacks. Yeah, Not here's Alan. That wanton way. destruction was amazing. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. gosh. Yeah, it was so cool. Oh yeah. She can do all sorts of things. I'm glad we got to, uh, you know, let her loose. Let you see what she's capable of. Um. Well, I think we need to skedaddle before um uh, these high and mighties change their minds, so to speak. Um. Will I be seeing you lot anytime soon? Probably. I don't know. Where are you headed? Probably Hangman's Alley. Oh, then, yeah, maybe. Okay. Noble. <laughs> How you doing? Pretty good. Things went well. It's just something weird about you, mate. You're just, you're just off... Hopefully you get back to your normal self, you know? You're sort of meandering through. You just seem just like a shell of your former self. Well, hey, I hope I uh, remember who you're talking about. Yeah. And she'll sort of lean over to... Oh, who would she lean over to? I don't know. One of y'all. Well, actually, you know, Darren, you, you were pretty successful in, like you know, being charming in, in y'all's initial talks with her. So she'll she'll probably just say, you know, feel free to just, like, knock him in the head a couple times. It might just, you know, jog something. I oh, yeah, will do. Although, given how many times he's gone down, probably won't be a problem. <laughs> you know, it that might been, be the, that might be the problem. Probably yep. over a year That's since fair. he's gone down, by the way. I think so, actually. <laughs> it's been a long time. Canonically. <laughs> Canonically, it's been over. For us, it's been like a month. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Well, see you guys soon. Uh, look forward to um, the big reunion. Hey, um, don't... I'm I'm Isla there, okay? Don't, don't call me by my other name. Because there's a lot of people that hate me there. Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> oh no, oh lots of people hate me there. Oh lord. I don't got good persuasion. Five. <laughs> she looks at you and goes, Sure thing. 
<laughs> and she right. rounds up her crew, gets on her ship, and they, they leave. <laughs> okay, I have the I have the message to Mortimer. Mm. Yes. So I'm gonna write. Mackenzie has been dealt with. We're on the way to find fortunes favored. Any updates on your end? Mackenzie's words suggested there might be more behind this. The wise one? Question mark. Yes. Oh shit. Yes. I'm trying to think yes. what y'all asked him last time and talked I, to him I about last time. Remember. So let's yeah. see. So many answers. Yes, let's go. Okay, I actually should probably. Yeah, okay. Okay, the last time y'all talked to him, you were showing concern of Braylock and he was trying to figure out if he could send people and if he'd have time. Okay, so you've just told him that you took care of the situation with Braylock um, and then asked him about the wise one. Okay, let's see. Um, I will work on a response. Okay, you hear back. Um, glad to hear of your victory. The wise one is cryptic. Could be related to the lich Dietrich. It's the Mythic Six's last loose end. All's well at Arthok's prison. Last loose end? Cool. What, so like Dietrich the Wise? Uh, Could apparently be. that's what it sounded like. Um, that means nothing to me. I'd say Dietrich the I'd Lich. Say, I'd say since since y'all know who Dietrich the Wise is in terms of Helm's Watch and that lore, you can probably put two and two together. And you would be surprised to hear that Dietrich the Wise is alive and is a lich, which you know are typically evil, so that's a bit concerning. Um, so. I thought... Okay. So if they're the same person, then he went off the deep end somehow. Yeah. And you're probably surprised to hear that the Mythic Six have loose ends, you know, problems right. they didn't solve. Hey, if we manage to get, how much do I know about liches? That's what, what I was thinking. What kind of have I heard about liches? You can make history, intelligence, or arcana check, probably. I'll accept either. Any. Even from me? 26. Oh, shit. What? 26 from Revan. I got a 17. 17 from Darren. Um... What are okay? You, you just want general information on liches? Um, you know that they are like undead wizards, basically. That um, you know they through dark magic have found a way to extend their life, and this normally is done by putting their their soul, their life force, into something called a phylactery, um, and basically they can't be killed unless you find this object and destroy it um so you guys know that dietrich the wise from the 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 legends of helm's watch was a very powerful magic user so it seems that somewhere along the way he went bad he found a dark means of extending his life and persists somehow and now you're starting to think maybe he somehow had some sort of connection to Father McKinsey so if we manage to find him and destroy his phylactery we that Our might be our claim to fame that might be our claim to fame Allie's like if we want fame <laughs> But where, how would you find, like, where is he? Hey, we've uh, lucked wait, into a lot we'll of stuff. We'll figure it out. I pull wait. out the compass. Yeah, Dietrich yeah. the Wise. You think about Dietrich the Wise and it spins. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, actually. Dietrich the Wise is phylactery. It spins. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense, though. That makes sense. Uh, knowing what I know <laughs> about. Okay. Um, I might have to meet up with with Mortimer at some point and have a have a longer conversation about that. 
if we want to tie up that loose end, but... I think we should. Um, that would be crazy. Like, you guys... Like, picking up the Mythic Six's slack? I yeah, it'd be pretty rad, that. right? That's, they'll say like that'd that. Be pretty cool. That's what it seems like. How did they just let this super bad evil guy just, like, waltz well, they off? Had, they probably had a lot of stuff going on. Who knows? I mean, it's the same reason they're off plane right now. And, while and you guys don't have a this. lot of stuff going on? I mean, that's fair. I think it's We do cool. have immediate goals right now, though, but... Yeah, the world is a big place. I mean, I don't think any one group can... We're thinking, we're thinking long term. I'm just saying, don't sell yourself short. We can't uh, keep putting them though. on a pedestal. We don't know them. To be fair, I mean, we we dealt with the blood tears the way we did, and I, you know, that seemed insurmountable at first. So true. That's true. I don't even know who they are, so there's no way I can put them on a pedestal. <laughs> <laughs> Well. <sighs> Honestly, super fair. <laughs> um, I got my message to Escher. I have less you words. You really lost all your memories, didn't you, Iowa? <laughs> I literally had nothing when I woke up on that beach. <sighs> Shit. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me hear this message to Escher. I have less words, so I... Um... I just said, hi, Escher. Mackenzie had tried to enact some kind of ritual at Braylock. We'd stopped it and ended him. Someone was in his ear, though. That's all I had really room for. Mm. Yeah. So I couldn't ask about Dietrich, but... I'm trying to think. You talked to him at some point a while ago. Yeah. I literally... I don't, I, I don't want to assume that he knows something, because what if he doesn't? So I'm just like... Oh. Right, the last time y'all talked to him was about Ronan's dad. That's and right! And he told you that yeah. he could call in a favor to potentially help Ronan find her dad. Oh, shit, we got that to do. Um, okay, so you said that you dealt with McKinsey, um... But somebody was talking in his ear. Um. Oh man, I forgot about that, Bray. He so will say, um, appreciate you dealing with the threat. I will have my men do some digging. Where are you headed to next? Perhaps I can uh, send that favor your way. Um, all right, I will use a slot. Where are you headed next? We're going to here. Wait, wasn't he in Pelamari too? Was He's it? in Pelamari. He might be wanting to know, like, your immediate next location, as opposed oh. to, like... Mm. Okay. Um, okay, I think that's 25 exactly. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so I say, we're going to Heyman's Alley. Eleanor, Mackenzie's right hand, had mentioned the wise one. Mackenzie's last words were, he said this was what she wanted. I didn't Shit. specify okay. she. I didn't specify who she was, but it's fine. <laughs> Damn it. You can probably put it together. Damn it. Ugh. I can't send any more messages today, by the way. Okay. <laughs> this is not quite... <laughs> it's not quite as eloquent as I would like to be, but <laughs> honestly, okay. it's All pretty right. fitting for Escher. So you hear back... Well, fuck. Uh, I'll send my contact to Hangman's Alley, but the wise one is concerning. Hopefully this man of the cloth was delusional or was screwed. Fuck, bro. Okay, uh, I informed the party. Um, so 
so. Oh, we're screwed, he says. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen him actually so tore up, unless it was talking about Zephyr. Look, we can take a lich. We can do it. Maybe not now. But I, in the future, I'm sure we could, but. I'm sure you could handle it. We can do it. Supportive BF. Uh, hmm. But I mean, for Escher, I, I don't know, I, for Escher to say that that way is very interesting. Um, I don't know. The guy's kind of high strung. I'm sure he's he high strung. A lot of stuff. He's high strung. That's true. Mm -hmm. He's kind of dramatic. But he said that, yeah, he said we'd he'd send a contact to Hangman Valley. Um, I'm surprised um, he knows where it is, but at the same time, not surprised at all. I was about to say, the Vermilion Shades, they're everywhere. Yeah, he's slippery. <laughs> hmm. Well, I mean, I'm pretty beat. Um, I don't, I do want to make it known. I want to, I'd like to see if I can purchase more diamonds uh, purchase before, before before we leave Greylock, if that's possible. Um, I don't know how much money I have, though. Yes, you but tell me family. the amount of diamonds you're wanting to purchase, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll see make what so. we got. Oh, okay, okay. Cool. So greater. So at least a hundred is that one. Uh, if I want revivify, I think that's 300. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, but then if I wanted, I can't remember, Ray's dead. Is that, it's a diamond situation on that one. Do you have Ray's dead? I have Ray's dead at this yeah. level. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I always have it prepared because I'm a life player. Okay. So, yeah. So we we are not dying <laughs> as far as I just need the diamonds. Hey, I'll, okay. I'll keep trying. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I had, uh, you know. Uh, okay, do I have that much money? I can't remember. Let's see. Um. Okay. I do have that much money. That's a lot of money though. But you know what? It's for a good cause. Yes, I would like to purchase 500 GP worth of diamonds. That is enough for one raised dead, five greater restorations, and like one revivify, essentially. Yeah. Keep in but... mind that I do have, where is it? Sorry, let me find it. I do have a diamond worth 300 gold piece. What you do? Yes. Well, sick. Um, so you have a 300. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's oh, good to know. Well, sick. <laughs> that's good to know. That's good yeah, to know. Yeah, I got it. I got it in the Feywild. Right. Yeah, you got right. it off that dead hag's body. There yeah. are quite a few things we got from the Feywild. Okay, great. Um, cool. Um, I'll keep that in mind. Um, I'll write it down, actually. Isla has... 300 GP. Yeah, I purposefully Diamond. didn't give that up when I was given money to the butcher. I was giving her all them coins and, and gems and stuff. Right. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Chi, because this is a, it's a decent sized city and it has a very large population of like clerics and religious people you were able to find and procure the diamonds you're looking for without much issue Yay. okay so that leaves me with that much money um uh, and then um that great um okay. since i kind of screwed up and lost um, the nice plus one short bow that I had. Um, how much would a, another short bow plus one short bow cost? Uh... AKA, since I had it stolen from me when um, I was kidnapped for that right. little bit. Um, right. Uh, way right. back when. 
Yeah. Let me find... Uh... All right. Um, none of that's working. Oh. Okay. Hang on. Take your time. Short bow. It's a plus one short bow, right? Yeah. Uh, Sorry, the spider fire going on. We'll say, um, I mean, plus one, plus one items, they're magical, so they're not necessarily cheap. Um, it's base price is like a thousand gold. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't got that much. No, you could try to haggle. I don't got near that much. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I mean, I have a bard with you. All I got is 400 gold piece. So, I mean, um, that is pretty low. It, so, like, that's not even half the, the, the base cost. What have been you, you, what have you been using instead? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, could My regular off. short bow. Oh, yeah. regular short bow. Yeah, I have no plus one items currently. You were given. Ali it was gave all you taken his. From me. Ali gave you his like plus one scimitar. Wasn't that before? No, it was after. Oh. It was after. Okay, fine. I've got the plus one scimitar, but I don't use a scimitar all that frequently. I yeah, I'm just saying you do have a plus one item. Okay, you could sell that if you wanted to. I'm not gonna sell something Ali gave me. <laughs> all right, no. well then. Then you probably then... do have things in your possession that you could sell, but... I've got an emerald where it's... Why do I feel like y'all have, like, a solid gold skull or something? <laughs> that was last campaign, was it not? not? A, not was that last inventory. campaign? I, I do know Orlana has a tiara. But she's not going to get that up. She's not going to get that up. No. <laughs> Let me check. Um, I would have yeah. notated the solid gold skull if we had it last campaign. Give me a second. I, yeah, I, I, all I have in my inventory is... Um, I don't know why that popped in my brain. Y'all definitely had that at some point, but it probably was last campaign and not this campaign. And I feel like y'all never sold it last campaign. Yeah, it was last did. campaign. We had so much money last campaign, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at my <laughs> money right now. <laughs> 155 platinum, 6,476 gold, 5 electron, 3,200 silver. Dang. <laughs> that That's just me. Oh, Lord. Ali has a hand axe that he could give you that you can throw. No, I'm not going to use a hand axe. It's okay. Don't you can worry throw about it. it. No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. I also have a whip. Oh shit! <laughs> don't um, okay. Don't don't make it weird. <laughs> no, um, n no. She's good. She'll stick with her with her crossbow or short bow, whatever the heck it is. It's fine. Okay. It's you might fine. be able to get. You might be able to get something at Hangman's Alley. Yeah. Honestly, you could probably like. Probably steal something, you know. I could probably steal something here if I you really probably, wanted to. In you the know, chaos, but... win something in a game or something. I was yeah, gonna say, hey, yeah. yeah. I got a good slot of hand. I could probably cheat something off someone. Yeah, yeah. There's lots of ways that you can get. Yeah. Stuff. I'll just hold. I'll hold out. I'll yeah, hold out. Yeah, yeah. So, what's the plan, guys? Do you? It's late. It's it's honestly probably by the close of a lot of this it's like early like dawn is starting to creep in but like i assume you guys are beat yes yeah so Absolutely. do you want to sleep on your ship or do you want to sleep in town i say sleep on the ship honestly we gotta congratulate our crew they like mm. were balls to the wall yeah, yeah. You can congratulate your crew, um, Mrs. Crocker's Just like, 
it was nothing, sweetheart. You know, we're just doing our due diligence. I love Betty. <laughs> I love her too. <laughs> <sighs> Wendy's like, I got to blow a lot of stuff up. It was pretty nice. Oh yeah, good job. Wendy, putting those gonna, skills to good use. Is that gonna hold you over for a little bit? Are you gonna be okay on the on our ship? Um, I think I'll be okay. Insight check. <laughs> yeah, give an insight check. Seven. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Once again, I have not rolled over a ten. Um. Yeah. I just want to, like, retire with Allie and, like, get to hug some. Oh, yeah? Hugging? Yeah. To hug. yes. Just hugging? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Sure. Okay. So fun. <laughs> it's been nine months. It has been. Oh, yeah, you, got a lot of, you got a lot of time to make up for. Um... All right, so you guys are all taking a long rest, Capiche? I'm, yes. I'm actually gonna find. Uh, I'm gonna go find um, Chi. Mm, okay. okay. Mom and Dad having a little chat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What am I doing at this time? I'm probably like praying. <laughs> I'm probably getting ready uh, before bed somehow. Probably just. Um... I probably just set out like a nightgown or something. I haven't gotten through yet. <laughs> That's the fuck. I don't know. Just, okay, I don't Darren, know. you find Chi. I'm clothed. I just have a nightgown on my bed, okay? That's not. <laughs> <That's okay. laughs> I think most of y'all sleep in this. Well, I don't know. I think maybe girls and boys have different rooms. I'm not sure. Um, so I should walk up to Chi and like put my hand on her, like, kind of hands on her shoulders and be like, you know, this might pale in comparison to being spoken to by a literal goddess, but, um, I just want to tell you I'm very proud of you. You've come a long way since we first met, and it's been an honor to be part of that growth. I just wanted to let you know I'm very, very proud of you. My god, um, yeah, I mean, she just, like, um, I feel like, I feel like she doesn't cry at first, she's just like, you know, she's just like, I wasn't ready for that, and then she starts crying, um, and, you know, she, um, and then just, like, regains her composure, and it's just like, um, um, God, what the fuck? Do you, what do you even say to that, Bray? Um, no, but Darren, Salune is, of course, Salune, but your words mean so much to me. And I, I count myself so thankful to be with you and with everyone else. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm definitely basking in today, but, um, but I am reminded um, there is still so much more to go. And, um, my rest, <laughs> um, and I'm not resting at least until we find, um, Aideen, is that her name? Mm-hmm. Aideen. And Ben. Yeah, so, but I, I appreciate that so much. Um, I still, I kind of wonder, maybe I'll, I'll go to sleep and I'll wake up and it's all been a dream. Well... When you wake up and that circlet is still on your head, you will know. You've done a good job. And I'm very proud of you. I'm going to pull her in for a hug. Mommy, <laughs> Dad. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Absolutely. And um, yeah, again, she she doesn't want to let go. I feel like you're probably like... You're like, all right, that hug's over. <laughs> you know. Well, okay, we're still going? Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever mm-hmm. you need. Let it out. And then after, after a while, she's like, oh. Yeah, and is like self-conscious about having kept the hug for so long. Cute. Revan. As you doze off, a moment begins to play in your mind, or perhaps a memory. Uh, You are in the workshop at High Guard, tinkering away. You know this place, you know you've done this countless times, but this exact memory eludes you. You were working on a weapon, a sword diligently tinkering with the hopes of imbuing it with magic. Just as you near the end of the process and try to get the new magical effect to take and stabilize, something goes wrong. The blade starts to vibrate and crack. You rush to pour more of your magic into it to try and wrestle back control, but it's too much. The blade shatters, sending shards of metal flying across the room. Kreia ducks as she enters the room, and a shard of metal flies over her head and shatters a row of potion vials behind her. She surveys the wreckage and gives you a quizzical look. Well, that certainly could have gone better. Still, for someone like you to even attempt such a complex process, let alone nearly accomplish it, it's astonishing. You are astonishing. Noble, if only I could have known such an incredible being like yourself was created, if I could know the secret to that. Your maker. You're sure they're... And you hear yourself reply, they're dead. Uh, You feel a weight of sadness and, and guilt in your chest, despite the lack of a beating heart. You think of that memory of you lying on the battlefield as people that cared for you were killed and taken. Pierce was taken away. Malik, your maker, was killed by this elven woman. You recall a feeling of helplessness. You don't like this feeling or the memories associated with it. You feel your fists tighten reflexively. She looks at the remnants of your work. Why a sword? Are you hoping to attack someone? And you shake your head and you say, no, it's, it's for protecting, defending. You, your fists clench tighter so that I'm not helpless. And Kreia is quiet for a moment and seems to consider your words. I don't think you're helpless, noble. Even when I found you being sold alongside Scrap, you did not strike me as helpless. If anything, I think you're resilient. Sometimes it seems as if death itself wouldn't be able to stop you. You're like a revenant. And a feeling of confusion and curiosity washes over you. A familiar emotion to you currently these days. And you hear yourself ask, a revenant? That's right. The magical undead creatures, she continues. Spurned on by sheer willpower, not unlike yourself. And you hear yourself say, revenant, and you repeat it. Revenant. But I wish you would focus more on your efforts on High God. Uh, there is much to research, much to learn. You will get nowhere if you keep getting distracted by your memories and regrets. You pick up a shard of the destroyed sword and squeeze it in your fist. And you hear yourself say, But I'm still so angry. She sort of shrugs at this. That's fine. Good, even. Anger can be a great tool to have. You just need to channel it into something else. The right things. Stop trying to protect what's already dead and start thinking about the guild. A friend from Alster Academy says they've got 
someone that could use our expertise. I think your particular skill set will be of great use in this. And, and you say, so who is this person? She looks at you and smiles. Ever the curious one. There's someone in search of knowledge. The name is Arthok Donclimber. And you wake up. Yeah. That's dope. That's fire. <laughs> You're pretty certain this is a memory. I, I think I, the whole dream premise we can throw away. There's yeah. something about this, especially when you wake up, that just feels like it happened, you know? Um, and you've got a lot swirling around in your mind. Uh, a lot of questions, maybe a few answers to some questions you had previously. Um, but one thing that you do think back to, perhaps subconsciously, is the work you were doing on the sword. You look at your own sword uh, that you've been tinkering with from time to time, and you do have some ideas about improvements, perhaps, that you could make on your own weapon should you choose to take the time to do so. So I want you to consider that, and let me know if you decide to take the Does time to tinker. It to does Joe get to make his own vestige? That's what I was saying, bro. I don't know, man. That's fire. Ah. I don't know. The power was in you all along. The power within. <laughs> um, there is no secret ingredient. But with that, uh, what are the plans to just cast off and head for Hangman's Alley? Yeah, I think well. so. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, you guys cast off and, and head that way, and I, I think this is a good place to stop, and we will pick up with this next week. What a fun session. All right, misfits, and that brings us to the end of tonight's game. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you would like to support us, please feel free to like and subscribe. But more importantly, I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you again next time.